Yes, it's me, Mark. If any here again today. So listen, I see that recently the Prime Minister was up in St. John at St. John Speaks. And among the people that spoke at that and spoke very eloquently to as well was none other than my good friend, Mr. Paul the Surfer Bourne. Now, I want to congratulate Mr. Bourne, Paul the Surfer, for what he is doing up at Peg Farm. And if you never went up to Peg Farm, you should go up there. The restaurant up there, real sweet. They got a place where you could go camping and they got all the organic stuff going on up there from pig farming, uh, you know, cow farming, you know, all kinds of things. The poultry farming, everything. And listen, everything up there, clean, clean, clean. You don't smell nothing bad, nor nothing so. Just rotate the animals over the various parts of the fields and that kind of stuff it is a real interesting thing go up my peg farm and spend a little time now you see me market vendor i want to congratulate mr bourne because in what mr bourne is doing is very unique in the barbadian context he said that Barbados got the opportunity, and St. John in particular, to feed the people of Barbados. And that we can grow enough up there, not only to feed the people of Barbados, but to export. And he is not only talking the talk, he is walking the walk too as well. You see me? I market when the thought that I would have tried my little hand some years ago too as well. Back in the 90s. And I went with me fastness and take up some money and go on and buy land up in Newcastle in St. John. Let me tell you something. I had two beautiful days with it. The day I buy it and the day that market sell it. And in between was pure horrors. Huh? Five years of pure horrors up there. So, so you see me, market vendor, when somebody like Paul Borgay put him money where his mouth is and go and create all of these opportunities and create this farming and so on and show how it can be done, I have to salute him. He say, you know, that you can't, you can't really depend on the overseas thing. We got the ability to be able to feed yourself and to be self-sufficient. And if COVID teach me anything at all, it is that shipping lines and containers and all these things in a pandemic could become virtually impossible to get your hands on. So you can't be able to feed yourself, otherwise you're going dead from starvation. You understand? So I want to support what Mr. Bourne is going. Look, he even got a school up there, so too, as well. Go and check it out, the peg farm. I'm only a market vendor, but well done, Paul. I hope the Prime Minister promised to come and visit you. So I got to hold the Prime Minister to that promise, because you know she real, real busy, Paul. Real busy. So make sure you get she up there Sunday morning. Get she a little breakfast there, so by Peg Farm. You're a restaurant. Oh, lost. She enjoy the breeze up there, so in St. John. And then you could talk the talk and work some magic market. Gone for now. Have a blessed and a wonderful day here. <laughs>